Hello there lovely people, it's Alex from Nintendo Life here, and today I'm going to tell you how to get all the coins you'll ever need in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and more importantly, without having to bother with all that tedious racing that the game tries to force you into. Coins are used primarily in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe to unlock different card options, so it's terribly important to try and get as many as you can, and using this technique which we've called smart farming, you'll be able to do just that very, very easily. First of all, you're going to need to select multiplayer and then versus race. It's important to choose multiplayer because otherwise you're going to have a load of CPUs messing things up. I prefer to pick middleweight characters as they've got a decent speed but also manage to get around the course really quickly due to their higher acceleration. Different characters and cart options will have a different way of getting through a course though so do bear that in mind. Next you'll need to pick your cart options. Anything really should work but again various factors will affect the line each character takes. If in doubt, just copy what you see here and you should be fine. Also on this screen, you're going to want to press plus or minus to bring up the stats menu. Enable smart steering and automatic acceleration, but not waggle controls for both characters. You can probably see where this is going, but bear with us, there's more to this process than just these options. All set? Right then, let's fiddle with the race settings. You'll want 200cc with no teams, no items, no CPU, all vehicles, courses set to choose, and 48 races. Make sure all of these options are exactly Exactly as you see them now, as they all make a difference. Now all you need to do is just set your characters off on a merry race. With the settings we've used, the two races will happily pilot themselves around the entire course with no worries whatsoever, and more importantly, collecting coins as they go. It's a shame that you can only have a maximum yield of 10 coins per race, otherwise including 4 players would obviously be preferential. But what course should you pick? Are they all equal? Well, not even a little bit. You've got to remember that both of these characters are going to be hugging the walls a lot, and there's not a lot of courses with plenty of coins that they'll run into on their extremely basic path. You've also got hazards to worry about as well, which can put an unfavourable twist on your coin farming attempts. After an awful, awful lot of testing, we discovered that the best overall course to choose, taking into account the time taken to complete a race, number of coins collected on average, and loads of other factors, is Moo Moo Meadows. You're welcome, Andre. Not only does Moo Moo Meadows provide on average 9.8 coins per race, but its hazards are also generally a non-issue, as the characters are rarely moving fast enough to collide with the cows and make them drop their coins. You'll get it very occasionally, but it's not a big deal in the long run. This track also has the advantage of being the very first in its cup, meaning when each race ends and you have to select the course again, you'll only have to mash one button repeatedly rather than navigate around with a control stick, saving valuable brain cells which you could be using to watch your favourite YouTube channel whilst you're farming coins. Other courses such as Wario's Goldmine have a lot more available coins in them, but they they take a lot longer to complete than Moo Moo. Trust us, Moo Moo comes out on top. You can choose random courses as an alternative, but it's a lot less reliable and will only take you longer to farm coins in the grander scheme of things. And you're going to have to mash the A button anyway, so you might as well keep it as consistent as possible. In the future, with the release of third party controllers, you should also quite easily be able to set one up with A set to turbo, so you don't even have to press the A button between races. They're not available in the UK at the time of recording though, so we can't say for absolute certain. And and that's it, just leave your races to go around collecting all your coins for you whilst you take care of more important things. Just remember to keep half an eye out so you can mash that A button between races. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you find a sneaky way to farm that subscribe button without even lifting a finger, and be sure to check out NintendoLive.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo related content. Thank you again for watching, bye bye.